Well, I don't think that's going to buy me a new camera. So, there's kind of a, a spiral effect here. It's spiraling down, downward. If I can't afford a new camera, then I can't get a great shot for that action... Uh, those big game trophies, which are all action, predator, prey shots. So... I don't know, the things you do in the beginning sort of affect your potential in the future. But, yeah. I guess I'll take a break and then maybe come back to this game. The hippo shot took forever, though. I mean... Uh, there's, like, one right way to do it. It involves hiding in the bushes some way. In some way, because I wasn't really hiding in any bushes. My distance was horrible. Alright. Alright, we are uh, back. I had to take a little bit of a break to eat something. Let's see if we, uh... What is it? Let's see if we get any new emails. Okay, we don't. I'm just gonna sleep. <coughs> Hopefully tomorrow we'll get a, you know, a mission that's not s not as difficult as the hippo one. They're gonna want me to capture a shot of one of those gorillas that op walks upright. Um, I just saw it on the news right now. Jay Leno was uh, making fun of it. Not that I watched Jay Leno or anything. I was just browsing through some channels. <clears throat> total, total Coco supporter here. Can check my email. New email. Camera repairs complete. Carry sent in for repairs for your departure. Just came back. It's a digital SLR. Oh, now we have a DSLR. The A100 lens kit. We've made arrangements so you can use it. Or the Alpha 100. Use it right away to take great photos for us, of course. Manyanga Research Project. Okay. I know all about this camera. This is the camera, Alpha 100, the camera that you used to take a picture of that cheetah. Oh, and they sent a lens. 18 by 70 millimeters F3. It's probably like a $200 lens or something. <coughs> camera was sent to the head office for repair has come back. Put it inside the camera case. Check it any time. Proper focusing is key when using this camera. Now the camera is set to autofocus. If you're not sure of the function, consult the camera photography manual on the bookshelf. Hmm. Right, let's look in the bookshelf. first and the manual should come after that all right Ah, here we go. <coughs> the Alpha 100 is a full-feature camera, but you can always use the auto mode if you want to keep things simple. The Alpha 100 has four noteworthy features. The lens are interchangeable. You can introduce selective blur. You can greatly customize how you shoot, plus it helps stabilize camera shake. I'll introduce each of these in a separate column. A good camera makes shooting pictures fun, and if you're having fun, you'll shoot better pictures. Wow, we have to read all of this. Um, focus on your subject by pressing the circle button. Okay. 
Okay, depth of field. Oh, here we go. The term we're going to talk about today has a lot to do with focus. And depth of field refers to how much of your scene, what range around the focus distance, remains sharp. Depth of field is also tied to a lens's zoom. Zooming in limits the depth of field, while zooming out increases it. Want your photos to stand out? Use seeing blur effectively is the first step. <coughs> Some good basics. When using the Alpha 100, you can open the camera menu by pressing the triangle button. And from the camera menu, you can change various camera preferences. In addition to the trickier photography settings, you can also set preferences for continuous shooting, image confirmation, after you snap a photo, shooting black and white, so on. Photography is a deep subject. Dive in with the triangle button. Wow. Some advanced features here. Exposure. You can select four modes in the Alpha 100's camera menu. Auto, aperture, priority, shutter speed priority, and manual exposure. In auto, snapping pictures is fully automatic. Aperture priority and shutter speed priority are half auto. Half manual modes. In manual, you set everything up yourself. Perfect for advanced users. Don't go writing off auto. Photography is useless. Mm -mm. <clears throat> I guess I never read focusing to you. Uh, we've all seen out of focus photos where the subject you meant to take a picture of lines up blurred. To prevent this, you need to focus on your subject with, with the Alpha 100. You can focus by pressing the circle button or the R1 button. If you move the left stick around while doing so, you can even change the angle. Okay. Aperture value. When we talked about shooting modes, aperture priority came up. The value change in aperture priority mode is what you, we call the aperture value. A low value results in a, in a narrow depth of field. Less of the scene stays in focus, while a higher value of aperture priority <coughs> or aperture value, I mean, uh, results in a wider depth of field. More of the scene stays in focus. Mastering aperture value will double your enjoyment when taking photos. This is going to be exciting to see <coughs> through my uh, viewfinder. Shutter speed refers to the length of time the shutter remains open, expressed as 1 30th of a second or 1 1,000th of a second, for example. When using a slow shutter speed, you get more motion blur. I'm still chewing on my previous meal. Uh, it, when using slow shutter speed, you get more motion blur, while faster shutter speeds will, quote, freeze your subject in its tracks. Mm. That's interesting. Okay. A little motion blur can punch up your action shots. So I'm going to be taking this, uh, know, is that a leopard or a cheetah? No, it's a cheetah. I'm catching a some sort of gazelle. If you let the camera do all the work, your subject may sometimes turn out too bright or too dark for your liking. Overexposed or underexposed. Exposure correction is a feature that lets you set the brightness of a photo just the way you like it. Use plus to take brighter photos, minus to take darker ones. Correcting exposure is a great, great way to know your camera. I start AF. Autofocus is one of the Alpha Series original features. It focuses for you automatically, even if you don't have, if you don't half press the shutter. <coughs> it's interesting. I do have a DSLR in real life, and. In order to focus, you do have to half press or press lightly on the shutter, the shutter button. Naturally, this is very useful since the camera will continue to focus for you as long as you have the viewfinder open. By half pressing the shutter, you can lock the focus. Smart users know when to have I start AF on and when to have it off. Creative style. At the very bottom of the Alpha 100 camera, you'll find the creative style setting. Ever played around with it? You can choose from two options, standard and black and white. 
black and white lends a different character to the photos you take. It's fun to shoot with, too. The winners are the ones who get the most enjoyment out of their photos. Try everything. Continuous shooting. With continuous shooting, you can hold down the circle button or the R1 button to con continually snap photos. You can set this feature up via the Alpha Series camera menu. With the Alpha 100, you are limited to three shots in a row. Okay, this is what I have to use for the big game trophy shot. With the Alpha 100, you are limited to three shots in a row. After you take three photos, you'll need to release the button before you can start shooting. You should be choosy about when to use continuous shooting. Good judgment is crucial. And this is the storage. Okay. I can't increase my storage as of now because I spent all my money on this... Uh, really cheap photo frame. I'm just going to throw James up there. I'm going to delete the rest. <laughs> um, I think I do have to make some room for... I guess they're all transferred to my computer, so... Okay, so let's just see if I have any new emails. And I don't. Alright, let's see if there's any new, any new animals out there. Now I can snapshot really, really great, <laughs> really, I don't know, really great close-ups of uh, yeah, really rare bugs, insects, six-legged creatures, Jabo.